Been over here bringing you another narrative Wi Fi battle. Before we get to the action, a few quick announcements. If you cannot already tell, I am trying some new settings and some new um, effects and stuff to try to improve my quality a little bit. Feel free to let me um, know what you guys think, if it's better or if you um, prefer it how it was before. It's kind of a brighter feel. Um, I kind of like it. Um, other announcements, other announcements. This battle that I'm having in a minute is going to be with a Pokemon dude from a live stream he was having that uh, I was a member of as a viewer for quite a long while. And uh, as one of the early people there, I did get a battle with him. Really cool dude. Make sure to check him out. Link in the description. And my next video will be a video playing my good friend in real life, Mike, who I talked about in my LTP episode 5. Speaking of which, um, keep up with the LTP series. Do have a new episode probably coming out tonight, sometime, maybe even two episodes. So all that good stuff said. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the battle here in a second. All right. So yeah, any battle, and I'm gonna lead with my snow miser. It's gonna be my hail team. Just gonna go for the protect to scout what he's gonna do. Don't really think he's gonna switch yet. He goes for a uh, T wave, which is interesting. I'm just going to go for an Ice Shark because I think that it'll be a 2k KO, and because I'm sashed, so his not killing me didn't really matter. Um, I should have gone for the Leech Seed, predicting the switch, but um, didn't want to over predict or anything. So that's uh, all good and dandy. Got the Hail. And yeah, I'm going to go into my Articuno, and he goes for a Flash Cannon, which is pretty pro because it's you know, super effective. Really did not expect that coming whatsoever. But of course, unstab super effective hits don't really do that much to my awesome air freshener. I'm going to go for the blizzard, thinking that even even um, though it's not very effective, it will be able to take it out. Um, that was pretty good judgment on my part to think that, considering I don't even have attack EVs in this thing. Um, I think my experience in NU is starting to pay off, because I am able to predict some of these um, damage outputs. I don't really do calcs or anything. Um, especially not during battles, that would just be annoying as hell. And, um, I don't make people wait that long. So, yeah, obviously since he couldn't even one-hit kill my Snow Miser, I'm not worried about that Kadabra at all. I'm just gonna kill him off. He has his, uh, Zangoose, gonna go into my fucking Bananas. Doing that much damage in my Bananas? That thing must be banded. So, well, I'm thinking it's banded. Um, so I'm just gonna roost up, predicting a switch. And he does switch into his Death Note, which is a pretty cool name. I actually love the series Death Note, along with uh, Liar Game. Even though I haven't gotten to read Liar Game yet, I know what it's about. I read the summary, have a lot of friends that read it. If you are into um, mysteries and awesome strategic shit, you probably like that. So I'm going to go into my Snow Miser here for Death Fodder. I see that he helps to use Fire Blast over a Flamethrower or Eruption. I'm going to go into my ZZ Master, because I'm pretty sure I can wall this thing to hell. And god fucking shit, that did so much damage. Um, I thought I'd be able to survive too. That really sucks for me. So, and he gets a crit, which was probably useless, unless he was like some max min damage stuff. I might have been able to survive, in which case it would have mattered. He's gonna make a good play, predict the toxic, go to his death note. And, um, he's gonna explode. Didn't predict that at all. But, um, bitch, this is lights out. This is lights out, so yeah. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. I'm gonna go for the protect, I think, there to scout his move or something. Wasn't really paying attention. He's gonna switch into his Typhlosion. I'm gonna go for the wish. I'm gonna go for the protect, I think, here. Yep, just to get back to full. I'm gonna go for a another wish, I think, here. Do, 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 do. Maybe. Maybe so. I should have gone for the knockoff. Oh man. That would have been pro. Yep, yeah, that would have been awesome. Toxic wouldn't have been too bad either. But yeah, I was hoping to get a Fire Blast miss on one of those two hits. Unfortunately, no such luck. 
but can't really complain since it is 85 act, which is not bad at all. And he's just going to kill off my Articuno with a Fire Blast. I'm going to bring in my Carpe Winter because I'm Scarfed, so I'm thinking I can outspeed. Go for the Blizzard. Doesn't kill, but thank God he ran out of Fire Blasts. And he didn't notice, I guess, or was staying in for Death Fodder or something. I'm pretty sure he didn't notice. But, um, so he struggled, which we were all laughing our asses off in the live stream. And my Glaceon's going to get a little mini sweep during the late game. So, great uh, game there, Pokemon Dude. You can check his channel. He said he's going to upload it, so you'll be able to hear his narration eventually. Although I know he has a lot of battles to upload, so you'll have to be patient with him for that. Check out these other battles. You guys know the deal. Of course, link to his channel in the description. Really appreciate you guys um, checking these out. I'm almost at 300 subscribers. Definitely going to have a 300 sub special. So you can look forward to that. And um, that's pretty much it for this one. So I guess I'll catch you guys in my next video. And peace out.